If you've ever lost something as precious as your smartphone, you know the sinking feeling of disconnection it brings. But what if that loss led you down a dark path, where every step you take is watched, every word you speak is heard? Meet Lee Nami, a hardworking marketer at a startup, whose ordinary life takes a chilling turn when her phone falls into the wrong hands. As she unwittingly becomes entangled in a web of deceit spun by Oh Jun Young, the tension mounts, curiosity peaked, and the stakes skyrocket. Join us on a journey where trust is shattered, secrets unravel, and the line between friend and foe blurs in a suspenseful dance of deception and discovery. I am here to break down the mistakes made, what you should do, and how to survive the unlocked. Lee Nami, portrayed by Chun Wu Hee, assumes the role of a marketer within a burgeoning startup. As an unassuming office employee, she dedicates herself diligently to her daily tasks. Additionally, she juggles a part-time position at Cafe Maizy, her father's coffee shop. One fateful day, Lee Nami misplaces her smartphone on the bus, setting off a chain of events that will grip your heart. As she reaches out for help using a friend's phone, she unknowingly steps into the trap set by Oh Jun Young. With his deceptive voice cloaked by a fake app, Jun Young lures Nami into retrieving her lost device from a repair shop. Little does she know, this innocent act will expose her to a sinister intrusion. While Jun Young feigns fixing her shattered screen, he clandestinely plants spyware on her phone, initiating a chilling invasion into Nami's world. Feel the tension rise as the stage is set for a gripping tale of betrayal and manipulation where every tap and swipe becomes a potential weapon in the hands of an unseen adversary. It's evident that Lee Nami makes several critical mistakes that put her in grave danger. Trusting a stranger, Nami unknowingly trusts Oh Jun Young, a stranger who claims to be helping her retrieve her lost phone. She doesn't verify his identity or intentions before following his instructions. Using a friend's phone, instead of using a secure method to contact someone for help, Nami borrows a friend's phone, potentially exposing her friend's privacy and security to risks. Not verifying the repair shop, Nami blindly follows Jun Young's instructions to pick up her phone from a repair shop without confirming its legitimacy. This allows Jun Young to manipulate the situation to his advantage. Not being vigilant during phone repair, Nami fails to notice Jun Young's suspicious behavior while he pretends to fix her phone's broken screen. She doesn't question his actions or inquire about the process, giving him ample opportunity to install spyware undetected. To survive this ordeal and prevent further harm, Nami should take the following steps. Trust but verify, always verify the identity and intentions of anyone offering assistance, especially in unfamiliar or potentially risky situations. Ask for credentials or seek help from trusted sources. Use secure communication channels. Instead of borrowing a friend's phone, Nami should use secure communication methods, such as calling from a public phone or using a trusted messaging app, to seek assistance. Research the repair shop. Before visiting the repair shop, Nami should research its reputation and legitimacy. She can check online reviews, ask for recommendations, or contact the shop directly to confirm its authenticity. Stay vigilant during repairs. While her phone is being repaired, Nami should closely observe the technician's actions and ask questions about the repair process. Any suspicious behavior should be reported immediately, and she should refrain from leaving her phone unattended. By taking these precautions and remaining vigilant, Nami can protect herself from falling victim to malicious schemes and ensure her safety. As Nami goes about her daily routine, oblivious to the invisible eyes tracking her every move, Jun Young's insidious intrusion deepens, weaving a web of intrigue and suspicion. With each passing moment, he infiltrates further into Nami's private world, sparking concern in her father's watchful eyes. Yet, amidst the shadowy manipulation, a peculiar connection blossoms between Nami and Jun Young. They share uncanny similarities, fostering a sense of curiosity and intrigue within Nami's heart. Claiming to be a software company employee, Jun Young extends a helping hand, concealing his true intentions behind a facade of assistance. As their paths intertwine, the lines between ally and adversary blur, captivating with a tantalizing blend of mystery and allure. It's evident that Lee Nami makes several crucial mistakes that contribute to her vulnerability. Ignorance of surveillance, Nami fails to recognize the signs of being monitored, continuing her daily activities without suspicion despite the intrusive surveillance by Jun Young. This lack of awareness allows Jun Young to deepen his invasion into her privacy. Failure to heed warning signs, despite the growing concern in her father's eyes, Nami overlooks the red flags surrounding Jun Young's presence in her life. Her dismissal of her father's apprehension leaves her vulnerable to further manipulation. Naive trust, Nami's willingness to trust Jun Young, despite his hidden agenda and suspicious behavior, leaves her open to exploitation. She overlooks the possibility of ulterior motives, 
allowing Jun Young to manipulate her emotions and perceptions. To survive and protect herself from Jun Young's deceitful schemes, Nami should take the following steps. Heightened awareness, Nami must become more vigilant and observant of her surroundings, recognizing any signs of surveillance or manipulation. By staying alert, she can detect and respond to threats more effectively. Trust verification. Before placing trust in individuals like Jun Young, Nami should verify their credentials and intentions. She should seek corroborating evidence and opinions from trusted sources to validate their claims. Open communication. Nami should maintain open communication with her father and other trusted allies, sharing her concerns and suspicions about Jun Young. By listening to their perspectives and advice, she can gain valuable insights and support in navigating the situation. Critical thinking. Nami should engage in critical thinking and analysis when evaluating Jun Young's actions and offers of assistance. She should question inconsistencies and discrepancies, refusing to blindly accept his explanations or requests. By adopting these strategies and learning from her mistakes, Nami can empower herself to confront and overcome the threats posed by Jun Young, safeguarding her personal and professional well-being. As the sinister plot unfolds, Nami's world crumbles around her. Jun Young's calculated moves result in her termination from the job she worked tirelessly for, all orchestrated by his treacherous leaks of confidential information and framing. To deepen the betrayal, he cunningly manipulates Nami's trust, planting seeds of doubt about her closest confidant, her best friend. With each deceitful twist, Jun Young skillfully engineers Nami's isolation, severing the ties that bind her to those she holds dear. As the audience witnesses Nami's descent into a web of lies and deception, an intense emotional curiosity is ignited, driving them to uncover the truth behind Jun Young's malicious machinations. In the unfolding turmoil of Nami's life, several critical mistakes contribute to her vulnerability and eventual downfall. Blind trust in Jun Young. Nami's unwavering trust in Jun Young allows him to manipulate her without suspicion. She fails to question his motives or verify his actions, enabling him to exploit her trust for his own nefarious purposes. Failure to verify information. Nami neglects to verify the accuracy of the confidential information allegedly leaked by Jun Young. Instead of investigating the source or questioning the validity of the accusations, she passively accepts them, hastening her termination and further entangling her in Jun Young's web of deceit. Susceptibility to manipulation. Jun Young's cunning manipulation exploits Nami's vulnerabilities and insecurities, effectively isolating her from her support network. By sowing seeds of doubt about her best friend and eroding her trust in others, he strengthens his control over her, leaving her defenseless against his schemes. To survive and extricate herself from Jun Young's malicious machinations, Nami must take decisive action. Question everything. Nami must adopt a critical mindset and question the information and motives presented to her by Jun Young. By scrutinizing his actions and claims, she can uncover inconsistencies and falsehoods, empowering herself to resist his manipulation. Seek external support, Nami should reach out to trusted allies, such as her father or other friends, for guidance and support. By confiding in others and seeking their perspective, she can gain valuable insights and assistance in navigating the treacherous situation. Gather evidence, Nami should gather evidence to refute Jun Young's accusations and expose his deceit. By collecting corroborating evidence and documenting her interactions with him, she can build a case to defend herself and undermine his credibility. Protect personal information. Nami should take proactive measures to protect her personal information and privacy from further intrusion by Jun Young. This may involve changing passwords, securing her devices, and limiting her interactions with him. By taking these proactive steps and learning from her mistakes, Nami can reclaim control of her life and thwart Jun Young's attempts to manipulate and exploit her vulnerabilities. Amidst the backdrop of a chilling murder investigation, Detective Wu Jimon delves into the mysterious case of a body discovered on a desolate mountain. As he follows the trail of clues, suspicion falls upon his own son, Wu Jun Young, as a potential suspect. The grim discovery of seven additional bodies further implicates Jun Young, who harbors a disturbing penchant for keeping the smartphones of his victims. Among them is Yun Mi Kyung, whose disappearance initially appeared as a mere runaway case to authorities. In a heart-stopping twist, Nami and her father find themselves thrust into a fight for survival while Detective Wu Jimon races against time to uncover the shocking truth about his own flesh and blood, Jun Young. With each revelation and unexpected turn of events, everyone is drawn deeper into a web of suspense and emotional intrigue. In the riveting narrative of the chilling murder investigation, several critical mistakes emerge, leading to perilous situations for all involved. Detective Wu Jimon's oversight. Detective Wu Jimon's failure to recognize the signs of his son's potential involvement in the crimes results in delayed action allowing Jun Young to continue his deadly spree unchecked. 
Nami's trust in Jun Young, Nami's blind trust in Jun Young, despite mounting evidence of his deceit and manipulation leaves her vulnerable to his dangerous machinations. Her failure to question his motives and actions jeopardizes her safety and that of her father. Underestimation of Jun Young, the authorities' initial dismissal of Yoon Mi Kyung's disappearance as a simple runaway case underscores a failure to recognize Jun Young's true nature and the gravity of the situation. To survive and learn from these mistakes, each character must take decisive action. Detective Wu Jimon's resolve, Detective Wu Jimon must set aside personal biases and confront the harsh reality of his son's potential involvement in the crimes. He must prioritize the pursuit of justice over familial loyalty and act swiftly to apprehend Jun Young before more lives are lost. Nami's vigilance, Nami must heed the warning signs and trust her instincts regarding Jun Young's true intentions. She must break free from his manipulation and actively seek help from trusted allies, including Detective Wu Jimon, to expose Jun Young's crimes and ensure her own safety. Authorities reassessment, law enforcement agencies must reassess the seriousness of the situation and allocate resources accordingly to apprehend Jun Young and bring him to justice. They must recognize the urgency of the matter and collaborate effectively to prevent further harm to innocent victims. Through these actions, the characters can not only survive the harrowing ordeal but also emerge stronger and wiser, armed with the knowledge gained from their mistakes. They must learn to trust their instincts, prioritize the pursuit of truth and justice, and remain vigilant in the face of deception and danger.